I've been staying here since the 10th of October this year. When I came from God Samui, my scarf was rotting and if I touch it, it would bleed. I have a sore behind my ear that was swollen and pussy. I've been taking the monk's medicine for over a month and now the sore is drying and getting better. Before, it was so big that when I looked straight at the mirror, I could not see my ear. Now, it's also improved because I go to the health care center to have it clean every morning and evening. Living here, I help out looking after the flowers and vegetable gardens. Mr. Sam Roy Porsi is one of 600 patients being treated at the Arokia San Center, here at the Camp Ramong Temple. Established in 2004 by a monk named Prat Papun Pat, Arokia San is a natural treatment center for patients in the last stages of cancer. The patients are surrounded by nature and their family members and are treated with various methods depending on both their fitness and their wishes. Every morning, each patient starts the new day with hope, exercising, chanting, dedicating food to the monks, listening to talks about Dharma and compassion, and praying in order to give merit to others. During the day, Dharma talks and light music are broadcasted to help the patients change their attitude towards this dreadful disease. When we found he had cancer, I felt like we all had cancer too. We couldn't accept it and we cried all the time. After his surgery, we were still stressed, but living here we felt better now we understand, whether you have cancer or not, if your time comes, you will die. Understanding this has helped our family to feel better. Whatever happens, will happen. I must be aware of the mood of the patient and their families. They are usually depressed and need cheering up. On their first day here, the patient won't smile or say anything, no matter what I ask. On day two, they might just let slip a smile, but by day three, they are more cheerful. Therefore, they are alert to their new environment, and by day five, they are getting stronger. The patient are encouraged and calm by the talk that I give. When I visit them, they reach up to greet me and they tell me how they are feeling. The patient monitor their mood every day and tell me whether or not they are feeling peaceful. Their cows also practice Dhamma, chanting and giving food to the monk. If you don't practice Dhamma, then the situation will depress you. Late in the morning, Prat Rapon Pat visits and gives medicines to the patients according to their different symptoms. This centre registers patients and uses a database to record details of their symptoms and the medicines which they have taken, both herbal and modern. This helps the volunteer doctors with monitoring the patient's conditions and making individual treatment plans. Living here, every patient must boil their own herbal medicine to drink each day. This process has spiritual significance because it confers a blessing on the person who does it. As well as Prat Raponpat, the volunteer doctors and nurses 
visit and cheer up the patients every Tuesday and Friday. We mostly come to encourage the patients. If they are cared for by this monk and are visited regularly by the doctor and nurses, then they will feel content. We try to heal them emotionally as well as physically. We ask them whether they practice meditation, eat healthy food, and whether or not they exercise. This example of a rural monk who has been courageous enough to fight against cancer has now spread to members of the public, who are likewise ready to volunteer their help. At first, we didn't know what was being done here, but Prabhupada opened his center to show us how they treat these patients in the final stages of cancer. I have volunteered here for a year, and I can say that surprisingly. The patients at this stage are able to live happily. At first, none of the patients can accept what's happening to them, but after just one week here, they adjust. Looking at them, you wouldn't know that the people here are cancer patients. It's a miracle. a r o k i a s a m is an example of a humanized society. Which proves that effective treatments based on faith and volunteering already exist. This c e n t e r provides hope to patients in the final stages of cancer, and helps them to access expensive medicines, despite the never-ending problem of patents. Here, it is considered that every life is much more valuable than money. I would like to give a message to everyone. If you have a hopeless case of cancer, we seem untreatable. Come to this center, because miracle can happen here.